Hello? Did I do it? I think I did it. I'm live. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I see myself. And chat. Yes. I might be a little bit warm. Actually. Can I change that? Nope. Okay. You'll deal with my warm look. <laughs> warm and friendly. Okay. Hello, everyone. So, very exciting. This guy on on screen. Um, I also put it in the corner there, uh, or below me. And yeah, Rocket Lab. A new rocket, which they said they would never do, or at least not for a long time. But I think they're getting into a habit of doing stuff they said they never would. <laughs> so crazy. Um, yeah, uh, and what you see on screen, um, I did find some small errors with the model or someone mentioned it on Twitter and I, I double checked. And what they listed on their website is that it's 4.5 meters wide in diameter and 40 meters tall. But the render that they showed is more like 45.2 meters tall. Um, yeah, so it, it will actually be a, it, a bit smaller than shown and I will model it like uh, they say in their numbers, 40 meters tall. It is thick indeed. Also, he ate a head. Yeah, that's true. Um, that was me on Twitter. Hey, thank you for mentioning that. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so I will be modeling it 40 meters tall and not 45. Five and a half, whatever, um, because that's what they state is the real thing, and then the render is just wrong, I suppose. the The weird thing will be where to take off the height. I think I'll just do a little bit from the second stage and a little bit from the first stage, maybe, um, because the fairing already looks quite small. It's it's basically just a big electron. Let's let's actually try that. I'll just bring in my electron model. And you can see that it's, I think it's basically just a big electron. So let's hide the big fairing here and then scale up electron. <laughs> okay, so it's it's just a big, a little bit fatter electron. Okay, done, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching this stream and I will see you next time. <laughs> Damn. Well, we didn't see him swallow. Oh, about the head. Okay, sorry. Yeah. I was in a different mindset thanks to my 3D Discord. Those guys. Hello, Jerry. Yeah, they are so hugely Alan. <laughs> Dinch. All right, so let's not do a copy of the electron. Let's actually do this from the from the bottom up. Let's delete this hierarchy, and let's uh, let's get started blocking it out hold on all right so what i usually do you probably know this process if you saw my last live stream where i did i started doing the what was that rocket that was a uh, terran one by relativity space so what i usually do is follow this guideline that i've made Make it 40 meters tall, 4.5 meters wide. Oh no, I can't see a chat. No. Where's my chat? There you are. Andy, Lisa, everyone else. Everyone else here. Die danske hilsen. Flo, you can't just speak Danish. That's that's illegal. It's only for Danish people. <laughs> Gatekeeping on language. That's nice. Okay. So it actually, another interesting thing is it looks like they have new engines and it looks like it's just four, I think. I don't think there can be another one in the middle there because you see the, the other ones there, they're sort of pushed in. So I think it's just a cluster of four bigger engines. Now I missed my ch chat again. Okay, I'll, I'll allow it, liquid hype, I'll, I'll allow it. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, I'll actually do, 
I'll actually scale this down so that I get the right proportions and then I can just make it more thick, <laughs> more girthy, if you will. Um, yeah, and then I'll split it up where I think it splits up. That's the difficult part. So let's actually take a look at the fairing that Peter Beck was staring under, standing under, staring. Because that'll give us a clue as to how big the fairing is. Neutron fairing. Yeah. Whoopsie daisy. So I'll just load this one, try and match this up, sort of. So we can get a height of it. Okay, so I think it's the bottom line here that's the end of the fairing. That makes sense. Or, or does it? I mean, it's an artist rendition, so I think it's just. Yeah, I think we can't go too much off of it. Uh, four engines suggest a propulsive landing will be interesting. Yeah, that's true. It's the thing with with Falcon Nine is that it has nine engines, so it can land on the like. Oh, I need to s apply the scale. Whoopsie daisy. Sorry for the bit quick movements there. The thing with Falcon 9 is that it has these nine engines, so it can do the it can do its uh, propulsive landing more like with a with a single engine or or three if it wants to. But four, there's no sender en sender en engine, so they have to land on at least two, I think, unless they want to do like a, a an SN5. Um, and yeah, four engines for a landing. Maybe it's five engines in the first stage alone. But the thing I'm I'm thinking is that you can see here, if I turn off the grid and stuff, not <laughs> not the actual image. Grid. You can see that the two engines over here on the outside, they sort of go into the. F the engine here, so there can't really be a sensor engine. There isn't really space for it. Um, that's my thinking, at least, for why it's full. And I have modeled quite, quite a lot of rockets. <laughs> I'll just say that. I think I'm up to more than 40 now. Yeah. That's a lot of rockets. Didn't expect that when I started. I think my I think actually Electron was my the first rocket that I modeled. And then New Shepard second. And then or maybe yeah, I also modeled the Copenhagen Suborbital Speaker rocket pretty fast. Or as one of my first ones. Could there be a smaller engine? I think that would be really weird. Like I've never seen I've never seen a rocket with different engines on the same like core it can be on like different if it's a side booster like for example i know energy in a energy energy and one of those <laughs> uh that has uh, side boosters with other liquid engines but yeah i don't think i've seen it on a single booster only 40? <laughs> How many rockets have you modeled, Flo? How many rockets have you modeled? Come on, man. So your center stage has Vernia engines. That's true. That's true. It has uh, separate little tiny steering engines. Vernia engines. That's a good point. Andy? But they're not for thrust. Let's say it like that. But I mean, you definitely could. Like it, it's been mentioned before, I think, that you could have a separate landing engine for re for reusable rockets. Oh no, this is the point where I can't actually follow the curve of the of the image here because it's smaller. Maybe I should actually duplicate the image so I can get the bigger fairing size and the correct diameter. Hmm. I just noticed it's probably not sensor because the 
of the raceway to the right there, or to the left, sorry. Maybe it was, maybe I'm just stupid. That does tend to happen. Oh, it was a little bit off. Okay, so now that I have this um, bigger fairing, I can follow that curve. Electron had nine engines to lift off, and it's much smaller, so uh, so it would be impossible to lift off with four Rutherford engines. Yeah, I think they're bigger than Rutherford, or oh, I'm fairly sure that they're bigger, actually. You can see they fill out a four and a 4.5 meter diameter with just like two, four if you will. And Rutherford is way smaller, like you can hold Rutherford basically. I don't know how heavy it is, but that is sort of, oh, that's so satisfying when you get the <laughs> fairing curve right. I'll just slide this up a little bit. Oh yeah. So what you'll see is I keep it quite low poly and I don't do a like really detailed model, um, or at least not in in like polygons and stuff. I could add more here and follow the curve more tightly, but because I am using this in my application Rocket Explorer, it does have to be somewhat performant for all kinds of machines, because I want everyone to be able to try Rocket Explorer. Okay, so now let's move or hide our big fairing guy. Wait, how tall was it? So it's 40 meters tall. 4.2 or 40.2 ASN. I think the real height listed on the website was 40, right? Which is what I'm making. And then 45.2 is what the render was showing, which I'm not going off of. Falcon 9 is going to retire one day and this is going to replace. Hmm. I think when Falcon 9 retires, um, that's when Starship flies a lot. So I'm not so sure about that. What happened here? I ha I hit the wrong image. There we go. I should be going off the thinner one. They reported 40 meters, okay. I always sort of don't like when they report smaller number, or not smaller, like rounded numbers like that. I would love it if it was like 40.1 and then we knew that it was like, that was what they're gonna make it, but it's so early, like, yeah, it's so early in development, so I, I can see why they would just say 40. I mean, it could be 40. I think Falcon 9 is just 70, right? Or 71 or something. Okay, let's turn on auto smooth here and set it to 60 degrees. And that will make sure that our lines here get sharpened. There we go. I should also, yeah, I'll sharpen this one as well. So set it to 60 as I found that to be a, a good value for rockets. In case you wanted to know. Yeah, 40.0 meters would give you confidence. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. That would be nice. How much can you guys hear my keyboard? I hope it didn't just like make it annoying by bringing it up, but I want to make sure that it's like not annoying. Not that there's much I can do. So, <laughs> sorry for bringing it up. Newton can take four tons to Leo. It can no way replace the legendary. Yeah, it's not a competitor for Falcon 9. Falcon 9, Falcon 9 is actually, a, you might argue, sorry, you might argue that it's a bit too big in some cases, like, it and Falcon Heavy, I think, maybe overlap a little bit. 
this will be, and they said that in the video, I think, this will be a constellation for a cause. Like they will use this to launch a bunch of small satellites in the fairing there. Like I see like very too, too much. A bunch of small uh, satellites there, cube sets or something else for a constellation in the, in the fairing and then just throw them out. I'm from Rus Ruskilde. <laughs> I'm not from there, but I live here now. Asbjorn. A cursed Falcon 9 landing. Oh, yes. I'm confused. I'm so confused. Uh, let's see. Let's put in some loud. Okay. In this case, all I have to go off of is the artist rendition, even though we already know it's wrong with the height. But, you know, that's all we've, we've got. So I'll just follow all the little bumps and curves and splits that it's that they've made here mark those as sharp and then you can see it sort of splits the fairing there and that's where later i'll just rip this off and make it a separate model for now i'm just modeling it all in in one to make sure that it all like they all fit each other and i don't make any mistakes in that case we'll also take it today so stick around for that that'll be good Okay, this part, this down here, this gives me major Astro Rocket 1.0, or 3.0, sorry, 3.0 vibes, like steel or aluminium or something, and then the, the layers, or Starship, of course. Which constellations, though? Uh, people, um, how to speak, constellations that don't exist yet, I guess? They might use them or make them because they know it's possible because of this rocket. Oh, you've been to Ruskiller, Andy? That's, I feel like it's such a small town, but I guess it's big in Danish uh, terms. Yeah, it's one of our biggest cities. That's awesome. It is quite neat, I'll say. How many loop cuts are there here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. I can just type eight if I'm clever. I'll just space them out individually. I think this is the thing. You don't know if this is because they're gonna produce it like this. Sorry. Or because it's just the way that the artist thought it would be, it would look good. Like you can, you can add details to make things look good. You never know. I guess they might have been in some sort of dialogue with the artist, uh, but yeah, I would like, I would actually like to know who made this because it's, it's a good model. It looks good. The landing legs are really nice. Yeah. And no, I, I didn't make it. <laughs> Visited the cathedral. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's a that's a beautiful cathedral or church or whatever. Aluminium or stainless, what do you guys think? I think it's aluminium. Oh. Hmm. They might have seen what SpaceX did with, with Starship and and thought that's that looks good for production line. But they won't need as many rockets as Starship because Starship will be sending like millions of tons to Mars and that's why they need to have a whole production line. This only needs a, a few rockets so it can have a, a fleet and then they can then then they can fly constellations. So I don't know. It could be stainless because then they, it can tolerate the heat. Interesting. I just thought of this. It doesn't have grid fins or anything. Not even like normal fins or anything. Yeah, that's interesting. Maybe that's because they didn't want it to look as too much like Falcon 9. Like they just copied that and then that went 
that's our rocket now. That's what you see with a lot of startups. Hey, Tom. That's what you see with a lot of startup rockets, rocket companies. They just copy a Falcon 9 rocket and then sell it to investors. Yeah. That's obviously not what Rocket Lab is doing because they're already like in business. They're just going to go public today, I think. So don't take this as, le uh, as uh, like investment advice, but I think it would be a pretty good investment to invest in, in Rocket Lab. Holy shit, this is a thick rocket. Thick boy. Let's hide these guys. Uh, let's put these into a new collection called references. And then for some reason I model this outside of anything. Always good to keep track of your references and stuff. Yeah, that is one thick boy. I'm modeling right now and it looks like the left side gets narrow just before the fairing begins after the black park. You know, Eric, that's probably the uh, the, the raceway. Um, let me see what you said. Right before the fairing begins. Right here, I guess you're talking about this this bit or something. I think that's the raceway it goes from the top of the second stage to the where the engine is and then also from the top of the first stage and down to the engine section you can see it on on the electron as well can't wait to put my money on team space hell yeah team space everybody i didn't know that the ipo um it, it won't actually be ipo I think also uh, Space or what's that, Virgin Galactic also didn't go IPO. I think they went with that other thing that they, they just talked about today, like where they make a separate company to buy that first company and go public that way. And it's a different way of getting, of going public instead of just going public with the main company that you're in right now i don't know <laughs> complicated stuff how does do 3d models man <laughs> did i move the rocket god damn it okay let's do some engines what do you guys think about that so what we actually need is some holes for the engines you know what should we look at the they're merging with Vector capital and going public. Yeah, exactly. Through a spec. Exactly. Special acquisition company. That thing. Okay. Should we look at what they do for, for Electron and, and assume that they do something similar? I mean, we see that with some companies, some companies like do it completely differently. Okay, so they just have a bunch of holes. I can do that, I think. <laughs> I can make holes. Yeah, let's get rid of Electron again. Okay, so what I usually do is just make a, some, a hole that's sort of the width of the engine because they might install it that way or something else. It used, it's just usually the width of the engine. That's my experience. And then we drag it out to the side until it matches that one. And that means we can now copy it all the way around. Okay, so you see that doesn't leave a lot of room for a sensor engine. Um, okay, they are also they are going public at the end of Q2. Okay. I thought they were like doing it today. <laughs> okay, thanks. Thanks, Flo. At the end of Q2. Okay, that's when you invest. But no, don't take my advice. But do it. <laughs> uh, all right. How many engines do you think it will land with? Like two or all four? 
That's a question. Okay, so I put this, I put these guys usually into something called the booleans, and then I just hide them. I will just, however, turn them all into this. There we go. Holes in the rocket. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. In Q2. But didn't you say at the end of... You said at the end of Q2, bro. 2, 4, 2. Uh, two four two. Flow, you're talking in, in, in codes. I don't know codes, man. Okay, let's uh, let's model an engine. Let's actually, so we get the correct, like center point of one of these. Let's duplicate this. Drag it into model. Hide this again. Now we can delete the other guys, if that makes sense. And there we go. Now we have an engine in the center of this hole. Great. I've never used Blender, but I want to try. Looks totally complicated. He means landing like Falcon 9 does. Oh, right, okay. So you light 2 to go back, light 4 to break, and then 2 to land on. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, Flo, you can't just <laughs> say things. But anyways, yeah, uh, Lisa, it is, it, it is a bit complicated, but it's also like awesome to make something and then you see it like you see you you made a thing wasn't <laughs> wasn't that inspire, inspiring holy shit yeah but i mean you can get a you can get a long way in a very short time if you just are willing to to learn it and sit down and spend some time with it if you look at uh eric from eric eric x space however you want to say it he started modeling what was it around this time this year? I know you're here, Eric. And look at look at what he, what he's making. It's it's crazy. There we go. Just a simple. Now let's remember to put it at sixty. That's the good measurement. Not too many details here because it's a small part and it needs to be performing well in Rocket Explorer. Sponsored by Rocket Explorer. <laughs> yeah, really. Like he's he's come he's made some crazy stuff in such a short time. And I've been doing it for what like seven or eight years and I still like I'm so amazed by by that. It's crazy. So, what do we do? What do we do? We'll just sort of round this off so it has a smooth end there. I will copy it around four times. Parent it to the main rocket. Ooh, that looks bad. You know why that is? That's because the holes that I made aren't parented. Let's do that. Let's actually, why don't we just apply that? Let's just apply that and delete these guys. I usually don't do a destructive thing like that, but you know what? I'm a daredevil. <laughs> what do we do with the drunken sailor? Yep, July blender. You started in July, damn. So not even a year ago. Bruh. That's all I have to say. Now I'm just connecting these to to some of the outside vertices, which will it, it'll sort of give it some support if I choose to like subdivide it or something like that. You'll see that it, it works out here. It doesn't work in the middle, but if I choose to make a higher version of this model, they will help. You can see it automa automatically found a way to do it here. Yeah. I'll just dissolve the ones that I didn't make myself. Sweet. Let's remember to save. Oof. 
I could hear my computer spinning up for that. Oh, it needs an upgrade. It does. All right. Now, Casper, I fully expect you to model every component of this unknown engine to extreme detail. Otherwise, I'll just like, damn it. Damn it. I'll try my best. Don't dislike. <laughs> I was first line. OMG didn't see that. It's a Danish song, but I just translated it on the fly because I'm cool like that. <laughs> All right, let's. So this is the sort of little pipe thing that goes down here to the rocket or to the nozzle end of the nozzle i think it's some sort of cooling running uh fuel through the engine through the bell here or something to to cool it or also to preheat the, the fuel at the same time i think that might help i don't know rocket science don't expect me to Okay, so what I do is I just make this little extension and then I do it once more and then use loop tools to make a circle. And then I can use that to sort of create a nice flat pipe thing. Pipe, is that the, is that the correct thing to call it? Pipe or... What could the other thing be? I heard uh, Adam Savage talked about it in a recent episode on, on Tested. It was like, you measure pipes by the inside diameter and rods or something. I can remember the other term by the outside. It's quite fascinating. Actually, I saw a comment here tagging me. Do you know which rendering tool Newport uses? Yes, I believe he uses Maya. Yeah. And that's also a really strong, really good tool. Uh, a lot of professional artists use that. Blender is getting bigger, bigger, bigger and bigger in the professional, professional, can't speak, professional uh, sphere or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, Maya is still the industry standard because it's just been around for longer. It's a paid service, so it's it's got some more f some other features and more features. But Blender is like crazy good at this point. It's like it's almost at the same level. And in some ways it's got uh, more features that Myers and 3ds Max don't. Pipe or tube? Tube, that's it. I've heard of yeah, it's M A Y A, I think. Yeah, Maya. There's also 3ds Max, and then there's also something like, uh, you know, there's obviously SketchUp. I haven't seen many people use SketchUp. That's more for like architecture. There's what else is there? I've seen some other people use Inventor or something. A lot of people also use other tools for, for 3D printing. All right, I think we have some some nozzles. Let's take a look at how it, it fits with our, our guy here. Yeah. So you'll notice it's, it's thicker. Um, and that's just because the gosh darn Artist rendering was wrong. I don't want to harp on it too much. It's it's awesome, but six out of one center engine, so total seven engines. What's what's that on? SolidWorks, yeah, SolidWorks. That's true. Eric, don't start. Ah, <laughs> oh, god damn it! Nice nozzle. You got a nice nozzle. Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's do some landing legs. Luckily, they're very flat, which I love. 
the the Falcon 9 landing legs were really difficult to to model because they have this such an organic shape and then at the same time it's like really sharp and flat in some some places <laughs> not nah, gimp for both cat and modeling good luck 3d modeling something in gimp yeah that's oops i just rotate this by 90. i like having x the local x-axis on this if that makes sense all right landing legs yeah So the inner part should be pretty much flush with this, I think. Whoops. Went to the camera. I wonder about the uh, about the tip here. I guess that's so it can be like really up close to the to the rocket, up tight, where the the Falcon 9 landing legs just like sort of cup on the outside. Just paint a thousand images and stack them upon each other. <laughs> yeah, that would. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can match this. It's always difficult matching something like this on a 3D shape to a 2D image. I'm just dragging it in because I'm. Hmm. 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 Yeah, the inside is bigger, but then it, it will also be like move out. Will hold it? It just seems so flat. Yeah, I guess it will only be. That just seems too flat. Like it seems, or maybe it's just wider here. I guess. Yeah, that's the thing. You, it's difficult sometimes to see if it's going like deeper or wider. Don't take that out of context. I swear to God. <laughs> All right. So it might be this flat. It seems sketchy. But yeah, it's it sort of fits with the width of this side panel here. I don't know. Did I just dissolve the edge here? Whoops. I love the 49 second stream that's still on your channel. 49 second stream? What? Where? Why? What? Need to look into that. <laughs> I don't know about that. Whoops. Yeah, I'm a professional. Somehow. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so it goes completely flat here and then also down in the middle. Let's actually just do that. So it's not going to match completely here. Right, these go way out. Yeah. Yeah. I told you landing legs are difficult, even when they're flat. <laughs> Hello, I am the Space Explorer, Titanium Man, VLS, everyone. What is your day job? Do you model things beside rockets? Sometimes, um, depends on what someone wants me to do. I have modeled a shower before, that was interesting. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I do 3D modeling and animations and and whatever 
with Stanley Creative, my company. Hire me if you want something done. <laughs> Hell yeah. He does spacecraft really well. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Yeah, I can. I just mentioned that. So Tom from Tom and Space, you'll see here in chat, just made a, a new video on the Dragon uh, capsule, both the Dragon One and Dragon Two, and the history of that and how it evolved. And I did some uh, some models for that. So uh, check it out. It's an awesome episode. It's got like. I feel like it's everyday astronaut level quality. It's at least, it's up there, it's really good. And yeah, I just watched it this morning. And well done, Tom, I will say. How much for a sink? <laughs> Depends on how complicated the sink is. I can definitely do it, definitely do a sink. He's also developing a VR app, ooh, yes. That's me though. I'm also, that's not Tom. I know you're referring to me. I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> yes, I'm making Rocket Explorer, uh, which is a rocket e exploring application and also VR uh, experience. And yeah, I'm launching it on Steam soon. So go to Steam right now and search Rocket Explorer and wishlist it. So you will get a notification when it goes live. Yeah. <laughs> Looks so easy when you're doing this. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's just the years of doing it. That makes me do it really fast. Doesn't mean I'm good at it, but it might look easy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But now I'm already, just as you say that, I'm coming into a problem here because now I'm ending up with this one corner down here and I actually want it to be a sort of square. That's one of the problems I had with the Falcon 9 landing leg as well. What I can of course do is, I should probably mirror this actually so I can just edit on one side. I'll just go into focus mode here, focus on this part, make sure I selected all of it, delete half of it, hell yeah, mirror, not mask, <laughs> mirror, thank you, allow clipping, and then I can just do some, some cutting here, and with that, I've created some triangles, we don't like that, so I'll, I'll look at fixing that later. But yeah, essentially, we don't like triangles in, in 3D models. Hmm. I will just drag it all down, actually. See. Mm -hmm. Can you please do a GSLV Mark 1 or 2 or PSLV? So I have done the GSLV Mark 2. I don't know what Mark 1 looks like, but, but Mark 3 is the big one with the big boosters, right? And then I've also planned on doing PSLV, yeah. Definitely want to do some more Indian rockets. Don't want to get a copy strike though. Copyright strike, sorry. Can we copy strike Stanley Creator? You know what? Nah, wait. Hmm. 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 I'm debating myself here. I wonder how long my camera will serve me. It has a tendency to go out after a little while. Okay, I'll just add, add some thickness to the to the leg here. Add some thickness this way might go into the rocket so I'll have to fix that a little bit later but that helped me helps me down here so I can 
Oh, that's a weird angle. And then, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what I wanted to do is make it a flat bottom here. There we go. So now we have something to rotate with. We have a landing leg. Ish. You'll have to eventually Indian rocket models. Yeah, that's true. I have made that one, as I said. But yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. Whoops. Then I, I'm just going to find the point that I wanted to rotate about, which is something that I do because I want to animate it and stuff like that. So what I usually do is just duplicate sort of point like this, drag it down, and then I can set the cursor to that point, delete the empty vertices, and then I can set the origin to the 3D cursor. And now you can see it rotates about that point. Yeah, landing legs. And while we're at it, I want to reset the cursor here and just duplicate our landing legs. Let's check it, check it out in matcap. That's just a different way of, of looking at the rocket. You can look at it in a metal. That's not a pretty metal. How about this? This? Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, I like it. That is one nice rocket. Studio. Let's get back at it. Can you tell me the rocket stages? Of what? Of. It's the, it's GSLV Mark One you made. Is it? Isn't it Mark Two? I don't know. Maybe Mark 1 and Mark 2 looks like each other. Maybe I'm just totally off. Yeah, I mean, Mark 3 is the one with the big, big boosters and the thick fairing. But you're, you're right, Mark 1 is definitely that one. Oh, okay, so Mark II is just an upgrade of the Mark, Mark I, just with another upper stage or something. You might be right about that. That does happen. Are we getting close with the landing legs? I think so. So what we do need is this little bit of a curve on it. You can see it's pretty hardcore straight right now, so let's smooth and then add our 60 degree sharpening and then we can just add a little bit of a point there maybe drag it out at the top here so it doesn't enter the rocket something like that same for around here. There you go. You're welcome. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I actually want something here. And then that can connect to this. This might be our fix for the triangle at the bottom, which we didn't make now. <laughs> I just realized. There is actually a triangle there. Uh, so we'll just connect this here. And then... I don't know how to fix that. I'll look at that later. It isn't too big of a deal. It's mostly if you want to subdivide the model and like make it higher quality, like something like that. But I'm not, not doing that, so... 
Oh, tell me the stages of the neutron rocket. Yeah, so it's looks like it's two stages and cutting off right here. So, you know, let's take a break from the landing legs and, and do that. Why don't we do that? So, yeah, if we copy the design of the electron, it cuts off right here. So that means we just do like this. Press Y. And then selection, there we go. That's the second stage and the fairing. So let's take the fairing, which we decided looked like it's split here or something, right? Um, yeah, I think that looks right. Which I don't like that it's... Hmm. Yeah, that's a tall fairing and this is a short fairing. I think it would actually be something like this. Looks like they just copied the electron fairing. But now this is a very short second stage, isn't it? I guess that could be feasible. But I want to let's let's follow the 3D model for now. And just split it right. Oops. Right there. No wait. I don't think it makes sense to have that big chunky thing on the fairing. Like that's some sort of avi avionics package or something. Um, can you please explain why triangles are bad in 3D modeling? I thought rendering tools divided parts into polygons to make it easier on the GPU. That's correct. When I port it into uh, Unity for like for the game or for for Rocket Explorer, it does convert it into triangles. But for subdividing for a subdivision. Uh, workflow, which is where you sort of take the geometry you made and then sort of you you add all these little details, like make it smoother, add geometry. You can see it doesn't follow here correctly. Uh, that's why you don't want triangles mostly because it doesn't handle those very well in the subdivision. And yeah, uh, quads or like squares and n-guns, which is just more polygons than four, is generally better. That's all I can say. It's when when it's all triangles, it's it, it doesn't like that. I hope that's a good explanation. Okay, so there's our fairing, very small. Oh no, we can see through the rocket, no. And our second stage without an engine. And that's our first stage landing, <sighs> going through the landing legs. 3D modeling, man, it's crazy. Let's parent the landing legs. This is also where, I, now that I've split the model up, you can see there's different parts up here. Then I usually add an empty, probably like a circle, make it radius three meters so it pokes through, rotate it, then we can call that. Oh no, you can see there's more of our model down here. That's why we just click on the model there. Now we can call this Neutron. And make all these parented to that. So now I can move the entire model and the separate stages. I like that. And then I would also call them Neutron Stage 1, Neutron Stage 2. A Newton Ferry. And then I can keep it all under control, especially when I get it into Rocket Explorer, I can see what the different parts are. And that is really neat. Indian crude attempt is pushed to 2023 now on, on crude one plant this year. Neat. That's cool. Yeah, gonna be cool with some some more countries doing crude launches. And this will, will also be uh, crude. So that's that's awesome. And that's gonna be a big capsule, like four and a half meters. That's, what's that, Orion level size? I mean, the Dragon is 
Hmm. What is that, Tom? If you're still here, you just made a video on it. Three, three point two or three point six something, same size as Falcon Nine. So yeah, this would be a big capsule. All right. What? What are we doing? Let's add the, oops, little thing here. Let's turn off clipping here so when I add a model, it won't be totally screwed up. Lower the detail on that. And now I'll just, hmm, what does that look like? An ex a, a sort of pill shape. I can do that. We'll just take half of it, extrude, dissolve these edges, pill sheep, there we go, and put it back there, smaller, rotate, and smooth, oh no, it needs to be bigger, there we go, and a little bit Oh, yeah, and half of it should be deleted because we're going uh, mirrored here. There we go, clipping. I'll just make sure it... Clips. Cool, cool, cool. I want to make it a little bit flatter on the on the ends here. Whoop chi do I did the thing. Yeah, it's not a perfect pill shape, but I like it. And then it has it has a sort of chamfer. Oh. Hmm. I'll actually just push this in this direction. And then Mark these as sharp. There we go. That is pretty sweet. I'm not gonna lie. So you can see it's still a bit too soft on the landing legs. I'll have to sort of tighten up those edges so it's. I can mark it sharp, I guess. That looks pretty nice. Don't forget, Neutron will only have 8 ton max into Leo, and Crew Dragon is heavy. Hmm, that's true. Yeah. Um, Tom, I, I was just asking how uh, wide Dragon is, but it seems like Garib and Andy has also already answered that. 3.7, 3.8, something around there. That's awesome. Okay, so, so this would be a wider capsule, but it has to be lightweight because it only has an 8 ton capacity, this fella. Um, let's do an upper stage engine and then just quickly fix the insides being totally transparent here. And then I think we should do some texturing, get some colors on this guy. So, upper stage engine, usually just a variant of the first stage. We'll also fix these holes later. So we'll just take this one, center it, bam, get up. And oh my god, came here straight from the Rocket Lab channel. Size of the rocket? Yes, I can tell you, I know. It is 40 meters tall and four and a half meters, no. Yeah, four and a half meters wide. And the reason you see 4.54 here is because of these wider part, but usually the width is me measured by the like normal tank size and then these outer parts are not included, the way I understand it. Okay. Ah! Sorry, computer. Yeah, it's pretty big. If we just drag in our electron again, I should just keep it in here, keep <laughs> putting it in and then just taking it out again. Remo remove the big fairing. That's a big step. Um, 
it's it's not as big as Falcon 1 to Falcon 9, but, but still a big step from one rocket to another. And obviously there's also New Shepard to New Glenn, that's just the, the wildest step in a company, but you can see that is it's quite a lot bigger than Electron. Um, put some colors on it, load the Electron colors here. Yeah. Chunky rocket. I'll compare it later, Flo. I'm going to compare it to all the different rockets. But uh, I'll just keep Electron here. And I want to take a look at Electron's upper stage. Or second stage. Because you could argue that... Uh, what's it called? Photon is an upper stage. How did you make these tubes around the nozzles? I can't make that type of shape unless I get a 2D circle and then you solidify. I mean, I, I do it in, in different ways. Um, you can do it by making a torus. And that's basically just the shape that you want. And then you can sort of delete the inside and get this up into a nozzle shape. But the way I did it here, is I just took sort of the geometry here, made a loop cut with Control R, and then just sized it out here, did something like that, essentially. I think that's what you were asking. If it's this bit, you can just go back. It's a little bit more complicated, but it's, it's still pretty simple. You can go back in the stream and watch it later if you want. Yeah, hang in there, Flow. <laughs> Aiming to fly it from wallops. Okay, good. Good to know. So not, not New Zealand at all, or just not to begin with. Okay, and here's our electron second stage. So it goes up inside this squared thing, which is what I guess this part is modeled off, off of. So we'll just do something. Like Akin to that, yes. Is this Casper Stanley? That's me. Yes, I am both Casper Stanley and Stanley Creative in one person. I have to go. Thanks for stopping by. See you. Hmm. Also to uh, preserve performance, you can see I didn't do a lot of geometry here. Just do it with textures. We might do something similar. What am I doing? What am I doing? Move up the fairing a bit. Let's take a look at the upper stage. If we duplicate that, scale it up, just so we can get a sort of reference of what we want to do here. I never do this normally, but I want to showcase like what we want it to look like, get an idea, because it's such a concept. I usually wait with modeling rockets. <laughs> That's one wide boy. Yeah, okay. That is such a bigger fuel tank than this. So much more volume. What is the diameter of the rocket? Yeah, four and a half as Luke said. Okay, let's hide our first stage, work on this second stage nozzle. Let's actually copy this so we can... Wait, what? All oh, right. I'll just have to sort of get it in the middle here. I just want to get the shape. So, let's see how big it can be. I think the interstate will go around here. The top of the tank will probably be around here. So let's do that. How far into the skirt can we go? Yeah, something like that. Okay. That's a fairly big engine. You can see the, the nozzle here already follows that pretty good. I need to change my name here. You don't recognize me as Lagos. I mean, it's in your last name. Sorry. <laughs> And hi, and welcome, and thanks for stopping by. 
You can see this up here is something like the standard size of the um, what do you call it? Rutherford engine. And then there's this huge bell. I don't think we can fit such a, a huge bell here in this case, but that's because the standard engines are pretty darn big. And again, this is just an artist concept, so it might be well, well different. Raptor guy, right? Raptor guy. Many Raptor guys. I'm still confused. I'm sorry. <laughs> and Dennis is here. So upper stages, you usually have to model uh, the other parts as well, sort of like the the whole combustion chamber and stuff, and throat and all those different things because it's more exposed on the on the first stage. It's usually not as exposed because it's protected from different heat elements and stuff, and especially for vehicles that are gonna land themselves, which this is. But that's, I, I kind of feel like just copying this nozzle. Should I? Hmm. hmm. What am I doing? Okay. Main nozzle will be shorter. It usually is. Is it? No, it's actually usually the same, sort of the same size, but wider. <laughs> you finally got a notification for YouTube. Oh man. Oh, Alex Svan. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I was like, I didn't put the, I didn't connect the dots. That's stupid. Sorry. <laughs> How about turning on some background music? I thought about that. I don't know. Should I? What's the vote on that? I can put on on some everyday astronaut. If you guys want to listen to that guy. Yeah, Alex, it's it's different. It's uh, it's difficult to <laughs> to model and think at the same time. Apparently, it's uh, it's pretty wild. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yay, Tim gets around. <laughs> all right, I think the vote is music. I won't be listening to it because then I'll just sit and vibe too much, but I'll put it on for you guys. Every day by logic. No, everything I wanted by Billie Eilish. Nah, every day astronaut did Tim Dart. Yes. Okay. You all need to tell me. How good the audio level is, I think. Ah, sorry. I think around 35 decibels usually is. Around where you want it. Let's see what you guys say. How is that? Are you vibing? Is it? Is it good? Not by maybe a bit too loud, okay. I can't hear it, so <laughs> you guys have to tell me. How is that meant then? Vibin, all right. Then I just need to credit Tim, so I'll just add that. Let's see live and music by Tim Dart, everyday astronaut, hell yeah. 
It's gone? You can't... Wait, what? Did I... I don't understand. It's still playing in... Oh, that's probably because I changed the... <laughs> I literally changed the... The audio output so I could hear it. There you go. Now it's back. <laughs> that's dumb. Sorry. Okay. Let me know. Did I mute him now? No, it's it's good, right? You killed it when you went to listen. And yeah, it's good, right? Okay, I think you're... Right, good. <laughs> Professional streamer. <laughs> That's me. Ah, damn it. Okay, let's model a nozzle here. Let's, let's polish this nozzle, as they say. Now, this, this is total guesswork, because we haven't even, even seen an artist rendition of this. Congrats on turning the music on. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you. It's it's pretty wild, I know. I have skills. I have skills. Yes. Yes. Nozzle. Nozzle. Vacuum nozzles are usually quite wide at top at the top there and then the the bell shape sort of goes from there this is pretty ugly but I don't know okay I go to <laughs> Make Earth X, Earth with X now, have fun. Hell yeah, have fun with that. Make some great stuff for us. Can't wait to see it. All right, all right, all right, all right. There are images at Rock Labs website of the second stage. Ooh, ooh, let's check that out. Let's hope, let's see Rocket Lab, Neutron. Okay, that image is new. This is new. Before they only had this. Interesting. I don't see anything else. Are you planning to go to the US to visit Boca Chica or any other place? I myself plan to travel to the US and all the spaceflight places in two years. Yes and no. Yes because I want to and no because money. <laughs> and also a pandemic but that will hopefully soon be over um yeah i don't know hopefully uh, soon i really want to see boba chica before the whole thing like they're already putting a lot of fences up, fences up and stuff and containers to block people's view i really want to to go there before it's all blocked off but i don't know um and yeah obviously i want to see a rocket launch because i haven't seen a rocket launch so just down at the Cape or something, be uh, be in Florida. That would be would be awesome. Um, Andy, can you tell me what I'm looking for? Where I'm looking? Um, maybe I need to look in the in the code, see if there are secret himi hidden images. Page wrap. Oh no, this is gonna blink a lot for you for you guys. Sorry. I am from Denmark, Gabon. Where are you from? Where are you all from? Let me know. It'd be awesome to see. Oh, they posted on Twitter? Or you? did you post it? I'm confused. Uh, Rocket Lab, there we go. There they are. Oh, guys. I don't know what that is. Germany, Denmark, India. You know where I'm from. <laughs> yes. Uh, Sydney, Indiana, USA, Illinois. Awesome. All over the world, man. Wait, Australia? Oh man, Tom, you're, you're up late. What's it like? Uh, 1 a.m.? Marcus House just stepped in. 
uh, earlier to say that he had to watch uh, tomorrow. Images available. <gasps> why, didn't I, why didn't I check this out? A uh, neutral rocket. Yes. <gasps> oh no, it's just the same images. This is new. Love from India. Hell yeah. Iran. Iran. Hungary. Means I'm from Mars. Yeah, probably. Serious. Oh, 2 17 a.m. Damn. Okay, so now where am I looking? Headshots. Pew, pew, pew. Two of Peter Beck because he's gotta have two. Is it somewhere else? Oh, no. Where am I looking? I have to work all day tomorrow too, but here we are. <laughs> I know that. Those are the only images I knew about. Okay. Okay. So I guess that's, this is all we have. I was just wondering if there was one of the second stage. Okay, well, let's continue. And yeah, continue the guesswork. Make this a white boy nozzle. Oh no, I don't like the look of that. Do we like the look of that? I think that's too wide. Hmm. I think we'll keep it some something like this. Okay, let's go with this and model this to match. I forget what, that when I scale something and I have all this out here, it doesn't scale to the center. Wide. <laughs> what program are you using, KSP? This is uh, Blender, a 3D modeling software. So I should yeah, make the center point here, make sure that I scale all, all of this to the center. Yes, there we go. A little secure security thing my future sanity when I notice that it's all off that has happened in the in the past you don't want that to happen trust me damn that's not fun when you realize it's like off center ew okay now let's just join these two models I'll just go inside of it inside the main fr mainframe Drag all of these down, this one too. Join the models. Oh no, it got color. Electron models, let's remove that. And bridge, beautiful. Is it beautiful? Oh no, because it wasn't necessarily sensor. I remember that now. Yeah, you can see it's off sensor here. However, my actual nozzle is also off sensor because I probably scaled it before without doing the sensor trick. Yeah. Let's just make sure that it's sensor down here. Go way in. There we go. Sorry for the red herring. I was answering a question about where you found the reference images. Oh, okay. <laughs> Remus. Connect these, dissolve one of those edges, connect this, probably make this a bit thinner so it looks like it continues, or this thicker actually. Want it to look like it's, it's one continuous shape. I think sort of does it it still looks like it's a little bit tightened but I might tweak that later let's figure out make sure the inside look looks good right here we'll probably have a seam I'll just note that for later 
That's where the color will shift from a metal to a sort of black one down here. Yeah, I think it's Carolux as well. Yeah, same as same as electron, kerosene, liquid oxygen. Easy to work with, performant enough. Very nice. Very nice. All right, I think that's our upper stage nozzle. Now, let's fix that transparency issue. That's essentially only because I have, sorry, that back face calling set. And that's because that's how it works in Unity. When I put it in Rocket Explorer, it'll be transparent from the back side. So what I'll do is I'll just, done, <laughs> no. Make some thickness here, go up, just sort of like that. And that's what the electron does. Now it probably also has some, somewhat of a curve to it here, because that's the bottom of the tank. Quite a flat bottom, I might say. That's, don't, also don't take that out of context. Why am I so, <sighs> sorry. Kerlux flight, <laughs> Kerlux fried chicken, yep. That's what KFC stands for. Correct the mundo. A word I have never said before and hopefully never will again. I think I think we done did the upper stage there. Simply enough. Um, yeah. Let's fix the fairing. Now the fairing also has to be split into two parts, but we'll uh, we'll look at that in just a bit. I'll just create a sort of inside here. It follows the curve. And then up at the top, it does something like this. Yeah. I can see we have an inside. And lastly, we do that same thing for the interstage. Now that I probably want to match the second stage thickness which i think i got pretty pretty much right there there we go so it sort of continues that and now all the way down to the bottom of the nozzle and a little bit further and then up in the tank tank like structure yeah there we go into stage so now we can stage the rocket this goes away. Wow. The <laughs> electron isn't there. And then this continues. Woo. No, with the fang. Woo. I like to play with my. No, not gonna finish that sentence. That thing has got legs. Yes, it has legs. It's awesome. Look at that. Yes, another rocket with legs. So it's gonna land. Let's, uh, let's simulate a landing here. Let's set this to individual. Wow. And have a ground. <laughs> yes, and then, whoa. First date has landed. Oh yes, I love it. You could still use parachutes with landing legs. Um, true, but then also no, because the point of landing legs and steering it is that you want to land it at a precise point, which is why you have a landing pad. And parachutes are really difficult to steer with. You really can't choose exactly where you want to go. Um, so you could definitely use like probably a drogue chute or a parachute something to slow it down and then drop the parachute off and then steer to where you want to go. But at that point, you might as well just steer where you want to go with some grid fins or something. Um, and basically when you get, get up to this scale, like this is wider than the Falcon 9, but a little bit shorter, you can't use parachute. It just doesn't, parachute doesn't scale well 
they tried using parachute with the Falcon 9, but it's it's it just needed to be like way too big. Um, so yeah, it works with the electron, but that's because the electron is. This big, not this big. About, about that size. So, there's a difference. All right. I think I will take a five-minute break and then let's come back and give this bad boy some color. What do you guys think? I think we need to put some textures on it, which include. Metal, black, some logos. Yeah. Okay, cool. See you in five minutes.
is running a little bit dry on better I just I did just charge it for these five minutes or so but we'll see if I'll just become an empty voice at some point in the ether I also got some more coffee in icy form to fuck up my stomach in even more so yeah let's get back to it it is a girthy boy indeed Texturing. So now you get to see my extremely bad texturing process, <laughs> which I do in a free Photoshop esque program and no substance, substance paint or anything, just a lot of wacky stuff. Because I learned it by doing it and not by following tutorials. I am 22, I think. Yeah. How old are you guys? I, I think we probably have a, a pretty wide uh, age gap, age span from like teenagers to people in their 50s probably. One of these days you'll be able to drink that coffee out of a beautiful mustache mug. Hell yeah! Can't wait. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm soon, soon I'll get this beautiful mustache mug with a guy on a mustache on the, uh, the uh, what's it called, on the outside and then on the inside there's this mustache guy, so if you have a mustache you don't get your mustache wet. And Luke is kind enough to send it to me. Yeah, it's taking a little bit of while, but it's from the US, so it's, it'll take some while. AFK is 3 years old apparently. It's around 18, 14, 15. Okay, so we do have a lot of, of teenagers here. Any old people? <laughs> Lisa is not gonna say. So, yeah, I'll just assume that, that uh, Lisa is in uh, her 20s like me or something. I'll be kind to you. Uh, why are your PC specs? Average. Um, we got a we got a GTX 1070 graphics card. That's about what six years old or something by now. It's still pretty good. Um, some 16 gigabytes of RAM. I really need a lot more because, like, Firefox has a tendency to crash when I have other programs open and stuff. It's it's quite bad. And then I have. An SSD, I have three terabytes of storage and some other expansion storages because I need a lot of storage. Who could have who, who could have thunk it? What else do I have? Some some random motherboard. Uh, 650 what PS, PSU power supply. You missed my question. Oh no. Alright, is that a Star Harbor poster on the wall. Yes, something I created myself, and I won't be re releasing that because it's sort of a Marlboro kind of design with that arrow shape. But I might do some posters in the future, um, which I've obviously thought about, which is why I did that. There's also that other poster, which is you can see that black line with some two white shapes, and on the edges there, the on the edges there are the sun. No, the Earth and the moon, and then the big white shape is actually the size of the sun. So pretty neat, pretty neat. Yeah, 60, 64 gig, gigabytes of RAM, that's what I am aiming for as well. I really need that. Like, it's, I'm struggling. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's get into it. Texturing. Hmm. I have a lot of different processes with that like 
I sometimes do all kinds of different materials. Sometimes I create one single material with all the textures in one. And I haven't really found what I like the most yet. So. Hmm. What do you guys think? Sun comes up soon. Yeah, Tom, you should go to bed. <laughs> okay, I'll see you. Thanks for stopping by and staying up late with me. Don't play that guitar now without me. I promise I won't. <laughs> I did just learn the four chord song, so I can now play, play like every pop song ever. But I won't. Um, yeah. I think we'll just, oh, I just figured out a model that I am missing, or the part of the model. <laughs> what holds the landing legs? Damn it. Also the insides, like, I, I'm also missing like the hy hydraulics that's gonna push the landing legs there. You can play guitar, Aspion, but I'm not, <laughs> not on stream. Not right now, at least. Let's do something that holds the this by 45 degrees. It's just gonna be simple sort of not cube but sort of cube shaped. It has to have that exact 45 degrees uh, angle here otherwise it won't like rotate. It doesn't like that. Then we need some sort of curve on it and then it needs to be split down the middle. That's my. That's what my experience with the fucking line tells me, at least. And then some sort of cylinder. doesn't look very good but can you check what music is playing now oh no is it not oh, god damn it sorry thanks for letting me know uh i'll just loop maximum aerodynamic pressure damn it hate when that happens sorry artists that i played your music i'm sorry is it still oh yeah i turned it up because it was i was on break i'll turn it down again is that good? Thanks for letting me know, guys. I hope it's I hope it's good. Okay, thanks, uh, Isa. Thanks for stopping by. Will SN stick SN ten stick the landing? I think so. I saw someone called it Stanley. Like SN nine was Eileen and SN eight was Snape and something. And then this one was Stanley for some reason. So. It has to land. That's. I think those are the rules when it's called Stanley. <laughs> because reasons. This is interesting. I hated this part on the <laughs> Falcon 9 as well. It's just such irregular shapes. It's weird. Oh jeez, it's weird. Trevor and James just need to stay off Twitter. What's that all about? Trevor and Thunderfoot thing? Yeah, I think it'll land because it's it has an X. <laughs> Rockets, am I right? You're totally right, Mess. It's crazy. How did you know? Rockets. Everyone say hi to Mess. Mess is my best friend. Thanks for thanks for stopping by, Mess. With the thrusting and the tallness, yes, and the girthiness this is a very girthy rocket you'll see 
Very crazy. <laughs> no, he means Trevor on the website. Oh, right. Oh, Trevor and James. That makes sense. <laughs> oh, right, because they tweet and then it doesn't happen. God damn it, James, don't jinx this one. All right, I think this is pretty bad, but we'll go with it. Right, there we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'll just set the... <laughs> I'll actually apply this mirror, then I'll just select these two phases and then set the midpoint to those so I can rotate about that. Then when I go back and undo, the midpoint or the cursor there will still stay there and I can set the origin to that. No, I can't. Why can't I do that? Set origin to 3D cursor. Yes, I can do that, but then they will also move because they're annoying. No, I can't do a fix, but I'll just delete them and copy them again. I'll turn this to this. Yes. Yes. And there we go. So now they have something to hold on to. I'll improve that model later, but I think we should get into some texturing so so you guys have something else to look on. I think we'll create different materials. I like I like that process the most. So we'll just ignore all of these <laughs> electron materials and then uh, create some uh, I usually do generic materials like black matte and then I can use that different in different places on the rocket where I want matte materials so this the first stage engines matte could be the same as the landing legs or something but obviously in this case they're not the same bye bye mess damn great content one plus one subscriber thank you Sylvester thank you thank you thank you Riveting content. I agree. I will just fix the landing leg now. This has to be some sort of st straight line. More straight. Yeah, I like that. Now it just doesn't. I don't want it to enter into the rocket. And now I probably fucked it up again. Ah, it's fine. All right. Riveting. Uh, nope, not because of the X, but because they painted the stuff on the pad. That makes them look confident. Yeah, that's what I I figured, yeah. They painted the the pad with a, an X. It was a tiny X, like, they that's this giant landing pad for the Starship, and then it's a tiny circle in the center. I'm watching two people modeling the same rocket. Who, who else is rocket, uh, modeling this rocket at the same time as me? That can't be happening. Black matte. Then we need a we need a metal shiny, but we also need a metal rough. We need a black matte actually, and then this one should be. Stanley, you better st go stop that other model. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Kimmy is uh, Kimmy's modeling. Is he live streaming as well? I can't have this. <laughs> Kimmy. Kimmy actually uh, is one of the guys who inspired me to start modeling rockets. So I don't want to. I don't want to fight him unless necessary. <laughs> okay. I'm. I'm fucking around. Okay. Uh, we'll say. Metal shiny, we'll use the same metal down up here. Same for the fairing. Metal shiny. Then we also need the. Uh, nope. Matt. Dark gray matt. Metal rough, that's what I want. Sorry. Metal. Oh. 
rough. Okay, so now I've sort of gotten some of the materials I want. Let's head into shading, see what we actually want to do. Put on some something. How do you know what Neutron looks like? It, is it the classic artistic liberty? Um, I'm going off of this one reference image that's on their website. And then also has this picture of the fairing, which is real um, from the video, but that's basically it. Then I'm copying the Oh, that's my father. Um, yeah, I'm basically copying the, the official render on their website, which I do for most rockets. However, for most rockets, there are more pictures than one. So I have to take some liberty here, but I think it's, it's pretty much I think it's pretty much, uh, what was I saying? I think I can do a lot with that one image. If it has not, Wookie Goldberg has posted analysis suggesting it's seven engines on the first stage. Oh, I'll have to check that out. So we can see if it's, if it is indeed seven engines. I can't comprehend how that could be, but in what channel is that? Wookie, Wookie, Wookie. Oh, there we go. The cell engine layout seems like the for the neutron based on how the geometry lines up. That could be. Yeah, I can see it. I mean, it's very tight with that image that he posted. He essentially, for you, those of you who are not in the Everyday Astronaut uh, Discord server, he is, let's uh, hide these. He's essentially proposing something like, like this. And ignore the holes not lining up. Uh, 60. So, could that still be? what we're seeing here so obviously we need to match the girth now to see that could be that could actually be that right that's true what do you guys think do you, th do you think it's a seven engine layout that would make sense in in terms of what we talked about in the very beginning of the stream where we talked about the reusability and if it uh, if it had to like land on two engines or one or what it was gonna be. And I couldn't see how it was gonna fit one in the center, but that's because I assumed that the ones on the outer sides were in the middle, but obviously they're not there like that. I don't see how it could be a five engine uh, Peter because that would make Five engine is, is also annoying because it has to be... Something like 76 degrees or something. One, two, three, four, five. Don't mind that there, obviously. On top of each other now. Uh, hide this, hide that. I don't, I don't see that being it. Because then you would see an engine filling out these spaces here. If you were to rotate it, so it lined up in the middle, you'll see the engines match up in the middle there. So I think it actually is seven engine layout. Thank you, Wookie Goldberg, you mad lad. You know, let's go with that for now actually. And then delete the original four here. Because it makes sense for reusability, it makes sense for, for what we they've gone with in the past. Um, and this is obviously where I regret that I 
made this into the geometry and didn't keep the the boolean thing that I did. But it's it should be pretty easy to get rid of and just do over again. So let's keep it like that for now and, and do the holes again later. Back to te texturing. Uh, hide this. Yeah. We'll have to scale that down again. Modeling on stream is difficult, man. What can I say? Back to shading. We want this to be metallic. We want this to be metallic. We want the shiny one to be less rough. Like that. Already looking like something. We want the Now we get to put seams everywhere, so that's awesome. Oh, I never actually made this smaller. Blood. Uh, seam and seam here. That will make we can so we can just choose that and say that's gonna be rough. Nice. And now you can see it's totally. Uh, Astra Rocket 3.0. That's totally what I'm getting a vibe of here. Now I should probably make the bottom rough as well. Yeah. All right. And then what else is rough? We got these. Rough here. Rough. And this one. This that's different. That's. Is it different? It's actually not rough, it's all. Oh. It's just more gray, actually. Gray. Sort of like that. Ish. And then this. It's the same, surprisingly. Let's go with that for now. And, uh,. Done diddly do. <laughs> no. Does that make sense? Yeah, I agree. Landing brand would make sense. Less is better. One in the middle. Four around this one. I mean, oh, four around, but that's what we talked about in the very beginning. I don't see how it could fit one in the center if if these go into this in into the center one here. Oh, or this one you see, then it would sort of protrude into the center one whereas with this design where it actually looks like that you can see there's not as much overlap but i'll tweak that i think these just go a little bit further in or something it sort of gives room for everything to move because they do gimbal okay black mat go almost completely black but not completely and then make that prep quite quite rough but not too rough awesome and they made this down here some sort of metal rough too and these are dark gray matte all right getting somewhere this should be, this is where I, I should add the texture um, and where I want it to be one single section instead of all these different materials. The different materials make sense for Blender if I just want it to be a, a single model, but putting it into Unity and, and a game, I want it to be one single texture sheet. It might do an, an entry burn for that. Uh, how much stage? How many st stages it has? I think it has two stages. Like that. Boom. And then the fairing. Exactly like the electron. And thanks for asking, because now I see the second stage engine. 
in each color. This will be rough, and then this will be black. This is actually pretty shiny black. I'll just call that semi-gloss or something. Glues. Semi-gloss. And then I can copy that. So now it's called semi-gloss on the other one that's using this. And now I can call this one matte. And make that matter. Yeah. Make it matter. So yeah, still discussion about how many engines in the first stage. Is it, is it seven? Is it five? Is it four? I think I thought it was four to begin with, but now I'm quickly got convinced that it's it's seven. And I think it makes much more sense. All right, all right, all right. Let's add some detail to it, just for renders. So this won't be imported into something like Unity. Um, I have my own materials in Unity, but let's do it for, for renders. What I can do is get some textures, polygon. I actually do have, hmm. Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, I can just actually import. I have a Polygon importer here. Polygon is a website for awesome textures and they have this Blender extension where you can just take any texture you've downloaded and just import it. So I have the stainless steel. I don't think it's stainless steel, but it might be. So it's definitely gonna look like that. And now everything that was shiny before or actually everything that was matte before is now stainless steel. I think I want to scale it up a little bit. So I can see some details on that. It's pretty sweet. I will just make it a little bit more rough. Nice. Same thing on this. Yeah, cool. I mean, could you fit 69 engines? I think I could fit, fit 69 engines. I think it would have to be some small engines, but... Yeah, we basically don't know anything about the engines. We don't know anything about anything, really. We know that it's gonna be 40 meters tall, four and a half meters wide, and look something like this. Be reusable. That's basically all we know, but it's awesome. And that's why I'm modeling it. So let's put some detail into this. Instead of loading something from Polygon here, I'll do some custom stuff. I just want a, a sort of bumpy texture to it on the normal here. So I'll load something like dirt, uh, clay here. 6k texture might be a bit much but let's go with it raw straight into that's not gonna work that's gonna look awful we need a it doesn't actually look awful but that's it's not you can see it, it's all from other angles we need a vector normal map there you go and now you can see that i haven't unwrapped it or anything so that's why it sort of stretches that so I definitely need to turn this way down. Just add some, actually even more than that or something. I might, I might just stretch it on one axis. I usually don't do that, but we'll see if it looks good. It doesn't for now. Okay, so what I do is I split it along these seams here, along there, right there, and along the inside of that, and not up here. Uh, just that. And 
that and the top and that should be it now when i mark those seams and then i unwrap it you'll see that it looks better on the inside but i still need to correct this so let's head over into uv editing this is where it gets really really interesting so let's select Oh, you can see that it didn't actually unwrap it here. That's, that might be... Oh, mark a seam there. Might be a bit of why it's a little bit weird. Still weird, but that's what we're going to correct now. So what I need to do is I need to straighten this up. Um, so it doesn't, doesn't warp the texture like this. And that's pretty easy. You just have to take all the edges of one single face here one that's all preferably pretty straight select that and select everything and then follow active quartz which is that one straightens it out it does have some errors like this sometimes so that might be over here that's actually just an error so i'll i'll need to just make those approximately the same size as the other ones and now if i turn it 90 degrees It still looks a little bit weird, but that's maybe because I stretched it in the shading here. Yeah. So now you'll see it looks pretty uniform now. I need to do the same thing on the inside. If I need to. No, it's that's that's a circle, so that's already pretty straight. That's fine. This one also doesn't really need it. Else is fine. I just needed the nozzle here. The main thing you're gonna see to be straight. Okay, very interesting. I know. And for some reason, all the other ones weren't linked. That's annoying. I'm just gonna copy those again with a linked thing. LinkedIn. <laughs> that down to that same that should pop that's probably a little bit lower actually it isn't in the diagram so it doesn't reveal that there's seven engines but to to be honest it probably is gonna be i think electron has that as well let's check that out oh i'm wrong electron doesn't would you look at that So let's keep it like that. Now we have some uh, some detail in the engines. It actually, I think it would be a bit a little bit rougher. I don't know. What do you guys think? They called one engine Curie after po Polish scientist. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, it's all animation. <laughs> Always has been. On engine name, I guess for. Paul Callahan, since he was a Sealander physician, like Ernest Rutherford. Callahan? Rutherford? Callahan. That could be a good engine name. Sounds about right. There's a lot more Sealander physicians, so we'll see. Yeah. It's not called physician, is it? Isn't it like physicist? And that, I think that's rip camera. <laughs> All right, time to have a mysterious voice with no face. I'll just put my battery to charge in case I stream for that long that it, it's actually gonna be charged again, but I don't think so. Let's, uh, let's get somewhere. Okay, so uh, what do we need? We need electron on the side here, and then we need rocket lab. Uh, not electron, neutron, and rocket lab there. So what we can do, which I think I'll do for this one, um, since it's just it's just a three D model, I'll have a separate UV map. UV map, neutron logo. 
And then what I can do is I have another or something else in this material that says it's going to say neutron here and then it's going to use that neutron logo UV map. Okay. And yeah, so let's let's paint that. Let's replicate this logo. So let's open neutron X2. I scale it up with an AI so I could get higher quality or simulated higher quality. Um, so let's copy that. Make a 1024 by 1024 texture. Always do in like multiple multiple of four. That's that's gonna get you some good compression, I think. I think I don't know. This is where when when something like this actually exists online. Or when it's existed for a while, people have taken this and made a logo. So, but right now, I think I just have to do something ugly like this. Ah. Thanks. I hate it. Re. Um. Yeah, so this is paint.net by the way. It's a free free tool like GIMP. If you know GIMP, it's how to do photoshopping without paying for Photoshop and without cracking Photoshop. Um, so yeah, I usually don't go in a f and fix logos like this and, and touch them up. But since this is the only version of the logo we have right now, I think, Unless it's in the in the press kit that I, I just missed. I think we'll just have to stick with this for now. Fix up this logo a little bit. Oh, wait, I'm just gonna paste it and see. It is actually it does look like it's thinner on the right side than on the left side. But I think it's because there's some sort of lighting on it. It looks like they sort of embedded it into the rocket in this. I don't like that. Why would you do that? So it actually it actually has to be the same size. That goes to the bottom of that. Yeah, what do you guys think? I think it's weird that it's doesn't actually look better that way. It might be the font that's like that. That might be the font actually, yeah. Maybe it is like that. Still very rough around the edges here. It's on purpose, yeah. I think so too. I just had to go <laughs> through that little mind, mind process of Figuring out that it actually looks better this way. Oops. Oops. Yeah. So it's gonna look a bit, a little bit ugly, but I'm doing my best here. In a, in a quick manner, I'm doing my best as quickly as I can, I should say. Uh, okay, good, good, good. So that's gonna be sort of a mask texture, and then we can use that to 
sort of put any color we want. This neutron logo. Save it as a PNG as well. And head in here. Now we can add some textures. Use this UV map. And yeah, load this texture. But we have to actually also make sure that we make make what that UV map has to be. So make sure this is selected. UV editing. Now we go to the first stage here and we select everywhere we want this logo to be and unwrap in a different way. We should probably just do project from view. That is, that would cause some warping if it was around the edges. It's not going to be, it's not just going to be in the center. So shading, now we combine these two. We have the metal color and then we do color mix. And this should actually just be the factor. Hmm. But invert it because right now the neutron there is black. Now I could just put it here and then do multiply. And you'll see it show up here because it's this it's the other texture. Ah, I did it all on the stainless steel brush thing, but that's all the other ones. It should be on this one. Which means it right now it doesn't actually have to be. Why is the clipboard empty? There you go. Okay, now you're gonna see how it's gonna look. So this is not the best way of doing it. It's not a bad way of doing it as e either, but it's gonna work for, for renders, but. Not for, for Unity. So now you see it repeat and that's bad. So all we want to do is to say Repeat, clip, no, extend. So now we, oh right, we need to take everything else. But now it extends from the edges, which in this case are just right. Now we need to select everything else, make sure it doesn't overlap on that texture. And since that only that's only on the neutron logo UV map on the second UV map it still looks different so two different UV maps and we are we are using only that to do this and then if we want some color to go over this we can do that hell yeah so now we have a logo on it neutron is it Jimmy Neutron that that guy is called best name ever Black. This should actually be the, a glossy one, a shiny. Shiny. And then a Rocket Lab logo over that. I just pointed out the camera, which is off. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, let's uh, head over somewhere and find the Rocket Lab logo. I have it somewhere. Rockets, rockets. I probably have it saved in my electron folder. I don't. I do, sorry. I want this one. Yeah, we do we we just do the same deal. This guy. Do a mix of this black that we have right now. This here. Use my electron Rocket Lab logo, the black one. And then in this case, 
I don't know if I want to multiply. I actually want to probably mix and then mix by some sort of triggering. I'll do that later. I'll just have to use another UV map here. You. Hmm. Let me just do logos actually. And use the same UV map. That should be possible. If not a little bit ugly, but you'll see. Don't want it to be stretched. Is this? No, it is, it is applied to the scale. Hmm, why is it stretching like that? I don't know. But that looks approximately right, and then just a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's copied on the other side now, but I don't want that. So, let's, let's do what? Let's do extend. Now the trigger that I mentioned, I think if I just do a sort of um, brightness contrast on this, we can just take a look at if I crank up the contrast on this one. If I also make it, oh right, if I just do it through a color ramp, it should be black and white as well. That's what I want. Because I just want it to be a sort of mask. If I do this ease, it should be prettier. Yeah. And now I can use it as a mask for mixing these two. Which doesn't look very good. Why is that? I don't I don't know. Is it because I need to do Yeah, there we go. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. So now we have a, a Rocket Lab logo on a shiny, shiny thing. That means we can also actually use this to do a different roughness on the logo, which is pretty neat. We can do like this. You can see now the <laughs> this is a wild example, but now the thing is totally shiny and the logo itself is totally matte. It's not like that, so. We could do something like come up with that, and then the logo is probably actually shinier because it's a sort of sticker thing. Something like that. It's a little detail, but this this could maybe be a bit less shiny. Yeah, something like that. Neat. All right, I like it. Um, I could make the other one, the stainless steel there, a little bit darker. Base color. Add a color mix thing. Or brightness contrast. Just take the brightness down a tiny bit. Yeah. All right. You know what? I don't like how my <laughs> my neutron logo disappeared. Um, God damn it! Of course, yeah, of course. So that's because it just has to be logo. Yeah, right. Okay. I think um, we're pretty much there. Second stage, fairing. So, there's obviously m much more to do. Um, let's see if, if you guys have said anything. Look on the Rocket Lab website, they have a clean logo. They do. Thanks for writing that like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll check that out. Rocket Lab, oh, they already have. Okay, 
control. Yeah, they have a logo here. That's true. I could definitely take those letters and and tweak that. I might do that later. Yeah. Thank you, Lisa. Um, what I need is to split the fairing. There's also some other details, like all these little things. Um, but yeah, let's see. I'll just split. I'll just actually, 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 actually add a little detail to the nose here. Why not? Sweet. And then I'll split it. So this is an important part. Delete. And then fix this. And then, whoops. Fix this transparent issue. Whoops. Um, something like that. Yep, yep, yep. This is a problem when you're doing more uh, more details on the outside than on the inside. You have to sort of do some wacky stuff like this. It's not really pretty, but I don't know. It's fine. So that's a fairing half, and then you can, for example, split up here, like mark sharp, mark a seam as well. So now I can make the inside another color, which I do need. I <laughs> once again just gestured at, gestured at the camera. Uh, let's see, I want them to be copies of each other. There we go. So they're completely alike now. Um, did you miss anything, Luke? I don't know. I put logos on it, so you probably missed that. It's pretty neat. Um, I don't know how far, how long you were gone. <laughs> but yeah, let's put some, some color on the inside here. I usually just do a, a normal black thing, but I might start adding textures to it so it actually has these these panels, which are sound absorbing, and yeah, they use they, they protect the payload from from the rocket itself, basically. Yeah, I usually just do something like this, and then uh, let's also actually fix the second stage here. We need some payload adapter, and these are usually something like. Uh, Point nine, but this is radio, so divide it by two. Yeah, something like that. Mark sharp. Okay, this is just a quick, quick sort of payload adapter. I Matt in the middle here. Black. Make this black as well. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Payload ad adapter. It should probably actually be an, a bigger payload adapter than this is the small standard, I think. But we'll keep it like that as well for now. It looks pretty pretty cool. And then Electron has these sort of. That's annoying. How about every third? 
works. And then if I do this one, this one. Yeah, okay, cool. I'll do this and then some extrusion and then make them smaller. Clear seams and clear, yeah. These are just sort of uh, strengtheners, I think, making it stronger. I think that looks pretty cool, pretty simple. Yeah. All right, so now we have uh, some artist uh, liberty, taking uh, liberty making some of my own stuff there. Uh, yeah, I think the only thing we really need is some hydraulics for the landing legs so that they work. Obviously they would also need to mount here. There's a quick thing that I just realized. I need a raceway. So just before I start working on the... the landing legs there, I'll just do this raceway. Yeah. These are pretty simple. Um, this goes up to the here. Yeah. Topping up around there. These are just to transfer some data and electronic stuff. Hell yeah, I know my rockets. <laughs> you can you can hear my expertise oozing out of me. Is that a disgusting thing to say? Like that. Okay, uh, let's see how is it it sort of gets wider. Like Falcon 9 has these say ish and uh, same on the top actually I'll just copy this I can do that Ooh, I should save yeah good whoa I flipped one <laughs> 180 there okay I wonder if there will be a giga photon or something to that effect. That would be really cool. Like a totally interplanetary thing that can go like with huge pay payloads. Yeah, that would be really awesome. On this thing. Oh, and this should be dragged down now because it chopped out around there. Something like that. I'm going very quickly now, as you can probably tell. Modeling is fine for a long time, a, long, a lot of hours, but modeling on stream gets... It takes a lot, of, a lot more energy, I think. <laughs> okay, so this stops just below this, and then the bottom of it stops. Here. Cool. And that should obviously be connected to the second stage now. Okay, so there we go. Now they just need some materials because they are not the same. They're sort of the same as this actually. So I just need to collect that. Set that to be this. Same here. This. And there you go. Raceway. Whoops. Yeah. It's a rocket. Okay.
You missed the second slight bend on the fairing, a bit further down from the first one. So there's a bend here. I know this, the shape is a bit off, I think. Oh, this is the one that's too... <coughs> To scale, wait, what is happening? Okay, this is the one that's to scale on the width. I've I've missed a bend. I where is that? Oh, man, dent. Oh, that one. Right, that's true. Yeah, good call. There you go. And then all the rivets and stuff. I'm sure that's just the artist taking uh, some li liberty. Unless it's built like Starship. <laughs> <coughs> hey, no worries, Lisa. Thanks for, thanks for the heads up. Looks much better now. Thank you for doing this. Very interesting to see the process behind rocket renderings. Hell yeah. I think we are definitely getting to to a nice place now. Why do you have a reference image not scale like the other? So I have two and that's because the artist rendering is wrong in terms of the height. So they made it uh, too tall. So we got Rocket Lab is telling us that it's 40 meters tall and four and a half meters wide in diameter. And the artist rendering is if, if we scale it up to the width, so it's four and a half meters wide, which is this here, it's too tall. It's actually more like, uh, it's actually more like 45 meters. So that's why I have one, so one that's scaled to the correct width here. And that's so I can follow the fairing and follow the, the curves of all that. And then I have one that's scaled to the correct height, so I can follow all the places where the the different things are happening, if that makes sense, in the correct scale like that. Um, so yeah, I hope that makes sense. It's annoying not to be able to edit YouTube comments to fix spelling. Yeah, true. Do you have any or would you recommend any tutorials or classes to get good at using Blender? Definitely start off with the classic uh, modeling of a donut. That's what everyone who's starting to use Blender now is, is taking that tutorial by uh, Andy, uh, the Blender guru. guru. I can't rem remember his real name, but yeah, modeling that donut should take you a good step of the way and uh, yeah I haven't actually taken that myself because I started way before he even made that tutorial uh, but I've, I hear that it's a good one so I will uh, recommend that and you can let me know how it how it goes for you I'm just making some extra edge, lo edge loops on the landing leg here so I can tighten that up a bit. I, th I feel like it's too smooth. Oh, I wanted to tighten up on this, on this side of it. And on this side, actually. Oh, that looks disgusting. Maybe I just make this sharp. Ew, no. It, it's actually like it's it's going down like this. But I'm not sure I like that because that creates triangles. I guess I can sort of dissolve this, connect this, make this a square. Connect this here. 
Okay, I think I fixed it. So now it's a square, square. Okay. Yeah, I think I fixed it. Sweet. We talked about earlier how triangles are bad in, in 3D modeling. Blender Guru channel. Andrew Price, right? Yeah, I think. Hey, I'm almost done with most of the model. Hey, you're modeling it too? Is everyone modeling it? I guess they are. That would make sense. I'm getting tagged everywhere. Can you post it in our chat? Eric, I want to see it. I want to see it so bad. Okay. So. Yeah, what uh, hydraulics, hydraulics for the legs. And I want, I want to make these automatic. So when I do this, they're going to follow it automatically. And that should be quite easy, actually. Sure. Thanks, Eric. To make them fit without clipping through the whole thing. I uh, want to give it some space in here. Okay, uh, two seconds, my brother is calling again. I need to take it up probably. <laughs> Give me a five minute break. Or oh, probably less than five minutes, actually, just like two minutes. <laughs> Alright, just needed to turn on the oven for my brother. Hell yeah. Dinner, be like. Brr. Hmm. this inside to like give space to the to the hydraulics they do that on the on the falcon 9 landing legs as well they somehow fit them inside i still find it quite impressive uh, let me just dig inside the model here and find this one line there it is Now I, I, I just want to push these as far out as they can go, like that. And I'll probably do some etching there, so you can see, cool, this can get pretty deep. That just gives some, I, I don't know if it's hard to see, maybe it's easy to see now. I sort of hollowed it out, so now it's it's easy to fit some, some sweet ass uh, hydraulics in there. Mark that sharp. In the Falcon 9, it's actually a different color. So why don't we do that just for shits and giggles? Uh, yeah, and hide and unhide. Let's flip that down so we can see where we want to go. 
Probably something like 110 degrees. That seems about right. Okay, so now you're gonna see some automatic uh, constraints and following of, of things. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. Okay. So about here where we want some sort of mounting point. Let's just make it a cube for now. Um, yeah. Then we want Hydraulic thing, yes, and let's see, this one, that's where it's mounted, and then it should be a sort of other cylinder on the, yeah, rotate it like that. We can, we can always fix how that looks later. Again, I just quickly want to showcase how this, how this works. And it'll be longer than that. Something like this. And, hmm. I think it'll be in, in three parts like Falcon 9. Let's just copy that design. That's all we know. What we need down here is a targeting point. So we'll make a, in the middle here, we'll make in a separate object so, so it has its its origin point, which is that tiny orange dot. Should probably just have made a cylinder for that, but hey, what are you gonna do? Parent that to that so it rotates with it. Cool. And now we want to target that. So what we do is we take this one and we say constraint track two. And then we just whoops select that. And you can see it, it's pointing in the direct opposite, so we just choose set instead of minus set. And now when we rotate the leg, you can see it targets that. And you're gonna see a problem now. It's totally fine, totally fine. And that's because I'm realizing that on the Falcon 9, it's actually mount way lower. And that's so it can go up again. Whoops. So it can go up like that. Now that makes sense. Now you can see it, it should be shorter. So we'll just do that. And we need another one. So what we do is we just duplicate this. To go inside of it and then we just remove this bit and we simplify this bit like so. And it'll be a little bit thinner. So now that can go inside of that. And I think I don't want a tracking constraint on that. I just, hmm, maybe I do. No, I don't. Do I? I want it to be parented to this. So I wonder if that's gonna cause any kind of, it's not, okay. So basically I could make it totally, um, automatic so I don't need to also animate it going in like this uh, but I can't quickly think of a way to do that right now so I'm just gonna have to do the targeting automatically and then I can animate it going in and out and that's totally fine by me I'll just do I'll just actually make this a little bit longer I wonder if it can it needs to be able to fit 
almost inside of this one. And I'll duplicate that again. And it needs to go. Hmm. I mean, you can do it in different ways. I could parent it to this one, so it's on the other side here. But I could also just keep it here, it seems. Yeah. Now I just need them to be a bit longer. So it can reach. Oh, Blender just crashed. Oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. Oh. <sighs> yes. Give me some. You, you can spam. You can spam if in the chat right now. It's totally fine. I, I don't know if YouTube is going to filter it out, but. Oh. I did save, but let's. I mean, Blender's pretty good at, at automatic save, so we're gonna check that out uh, later. But let's let's see when the last time is I saved. Oofa doofa. That's what I have to say. Okay, so that was right after I did the hollowing out of that. Okay, yikes. But now let's check out the auto save. That, that should be much better. I think it auto saves like every two minutes or something so we just need to find one that's called neutron please yes okay see i love blender not too bad seriously eric you <laughs> yours crashed as well that was like a widespread blender crash right there just use the autosave just like i did <laughs> It'll be fine. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. F for Eric as well, but Eric just use the autosave. You'll hopefully be fine. <laughs> like like me did. I, I think I think it's it's not too bad to do it from here as well. I need I need I needed to make this longer anyways. Let's just save like that. It's usually when I go into to that wireframe view, this, that it crashes because apparently that's a little bit tough on the PC. And then I probably ran out of RAM. Yeah. Um, so let's save actually. <laughs> and duplicate this. Maybe I don't need to make it longer, but I just need to bring it down a tiny bit. Ah, uh, what? There we go. Nice. So I'll just bring it down to about here. Let's see how that looks when it... Okay, it's almost possible. The constraint system is a little bit wack in Blender, as you can see, it just sort of disappears when it just just nopes out. I'm like, nope, not gonna track that. So the only thing we need at the bottom now is a sort of hinge. So that's the same as the as the top one there. Just a cylinder. 16. 45. And just like that, now it has a, a way to hold on to that. Sweet. Did you get it back, Eric? Did it work? All the saves great. Fantastic. <laughs> Uh, okay, the struggles of of this. Okay, so should we try and do a 
The only problem is, is when you add multiple constraints, usually Blender doesn't like that at all. So what I usually do is just, let's say I'll have this 110, which is normal. I'll just animate them. 110. And what I, I'll do is I animate these to location. Actually, not the location of that one. And then here or something. Hmm, this is where I actually would want to, to drag it to the to this or uh, parent it to this one because then it, I wouldn't have to move it around here to try and follow that. I can just have it on there and then they'll meet there automatically. So I think that's actually what I'm going to do. I'll just go to that point, take this and set the origin to that and then it obviously is trying to track where it is itself right now, so I want to track. Uh, oops, I want to track this top part, probably. And yeah, now you'll see. I need to parent it to this, <laughs> or maybe into to that tiny bit. And now you can see it's sort of automatic. How it, it it goes inside of that. That's sweet. And now it just it doesn't do it with the middle one, but that's that's what I'm going to animate. So I just need to copy this uh, keyframe that location. And as you can see, it splits in the middle there. But that's maybe just because I start this a bit too early. Or late. <laughs> and yeah, so it's still a bit too long. You can see it, it sort of goes through it there. But it looks decent from the outside, probably. Phew, landing leg. That is pretty awesome. Yeah, not gonna lie. I like that. So I'll fix the sort of going through it <laughs> later. I like having it not uh, sort of penetrating through itself. I don't think it could be three engines, no, Luke. Um, people are saying five engines, people are saying seven. Right now I'm convinced it's seven. At the beginning I was convinced it was four. It could be five. <laughs> Let's just wait it out. animate these guys as well because why not that, that means we can also copy this and see what we're doing we like that nine degrees and now before we start the animation otherwise it's probably gonna freak out a little bit we need to Hmm. Yep, definitely freaking out. So, this needs to be parented to this. This needs to be parented to this. And yeah, I'll just show you. This is what happens when you... If you mess up stuff like that. <laughs> Looks great. And this needs to be parented to this. And... It just works right off the bat. Sweet. Let's turn off everything and just watch this. 
first stage land. Just save. <laughs> Oops, I wanted to be. Yeah, electron. No, neutron. <laughs> Damn it. I think the inside here will probably. Like shiny one as well. Just a hunch. Oh, that looks great. Somehow I didn't remove the copied logo there. Yeah. Okay. And some color for these guys. Black matte, I think, will be good. And then some sort of metal for these down here. Metal rough. rough again this is just a quick way of doing materials i'm gonna do it probably uh probably when i when i get it into rocket explorer but this this looks badass hell yeah and a plane that it can stand on Hey, they did it! They did it! Congratulations, Rocket Lab. You landed the booster. <laughs> okay, sweet. Yep, I agree. Who knows at this point? Alright. Wait, let me actually bring back something like that. Let's do a, a circle. Not a sphere, a circle. I would be a sort of landing pad. And play the animation. Um, dip, 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 dip. Nice. Do you like that, guys? I think I like it. Now I need to. <laughs> Control set until I didn't move that upper stage. If it even has saved that. No. I went too far back. Or too far. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm lucky I didn't actually remove the point or move the point. So now it's <laughs> it's probably... Yeah, it's still at the bottom there. So I can just take all these and reset them. That was quite lucky. Now I actually do want to set the origin point to something like here. So it can rotate about that point. That's also good for Rocket Explorer when I animate it. Same for these guys. Their sensor should probably be in the middle. Or they, I know they should be. Now that is interesting. Oh, it probably, yeah. Of course it moved move the other one down yeah uh, selection to cursor yes there we go i think that's us getting close to done with the rocket again these guys will need more work uh, other bits and pieces could use more work but uh yeah, second stage engine here. But I'm quite happy with it. What do you guys think? We did a thing. We only streamed for three hours. We just hit three hours. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's actually pretty quick. Not gonna lie. All right, uh, what was I thinking? That was that other thing. Oh, I mean, you might see that the fairing shape is off because I went for this shape and now it's just sort of too short. And you can see here, it's way taller, the fairing itself. So I'll have to do some tweaking there. I might have to include this black bit or something. 
make the second stage shorter. Again, we we're only going off of this artist rendering and the height is wrong, so it's difficult. Um, what was I thinking? I was thinking about something. Oh, right. I need to add a... This is something for Rocket Explorer. I need to add a circle here with a diameter. And that'll be the parent for the fairing. So these two halves will be parented to this. Oops, all of these just need to go into here. New neutron fairing. And this should be fairing one and fairing two. I do realize that this <laughs> isn't too interesting, but it's just a sort of housekeeping thing that I, I, it's awesome to see up here. You know what the different parts are. Um, all this needs to be parented to the first stage. In the Falcon 9 model I have, I have I've named all of these different bits. I might do that as well, but I'm not gonna have you sit through that now. I just need another one of this for the second stage. Stage two. I'll call this mesh. Sweet. So now I can take the second stage, I can take the fairing, and I can take the first. Nope. I need to be able to take the first stage. Stage one. And I'll just make this a bit bigger so I can see the difference. Yeah. Okay. So. I think we did it, guys. Thank you. Uh, thank you for being on here. Do, uh, do you have any last things you, you think I missed? You would like me to add? I think this is... Oh, right. Of course. My holes at the bottom. I'll just add that. But, uh, but yeah. You saw, you saw how I did that in, in the beginning, so I'll just do that off stream, but uh, thanks for being, thanks for coming back, Kushal. Yeah, that's the new, uh, oh yeah, let's compare it to some models. That's the, that's what I wanted to do. So let's just compare it to some, some different rockets. And this is something, something, <laughs> this is obviously something you can do in Rocket Explorer, my uh, rocket experience you can see below me now in the bottom corner there that's rocket explorer that i'm developing you can wishlist it on steam right now um but yeah let's just let's just compare it to to some rockets now so we can start off with the electron obviously and there we have the electron and the neutron side by side hell yeah Let's uh, add in Falcon 9. Falcon 9. Collection. Collection 1. Oh, it's so laggy. Did you save it? Oh, good point. Save. So that's Falcon 9. And some other bits and bobs, dragon, solar panels, I don't know why they're there, I'll take off the dragons, yeah, new rocket, fat boy, even fatter than Falcon 9 actually, you'll see here it's, it's a good bit wider than Falcon 9. Okay, one. Save, save, save. Yeah, I saved. <laughs> okay, one other rocket we can compare it to. What do you guys want? What do we want to to compare it to here? So you, so right, all right. Let's do that. That's another workhorse rocket we've seen a lot. Good point. Soyuz. You were the first to say it, so let's do it. 
We can we can we can do some other models as well. I'm seeing Starship obviously. Obviously. There we go, Soyuz. We'll just drag Falcon 9 a bit. Alright, so it's almost as tall as Soyuz. Actually Oh, I have some different fairings on here. Hmm. We can go in and we can see fairing. 2.8 fairing. 2.8 small fairing. FG. Yeah. There we go. That's uh, Soyuz. Anything else? What were you saying? Antares is probably comparable, yeah. That's a good point. Andy? Antares. A very boring rocket. I'll, I'm very sorry to say, but it's it's not a very exciting rocket. We'll just smack that in there between Soyuz. Move all these rockets. Yeah, so it's very close to Antares, actually. That's interesting. Neat, but it's gonna have a bigger fairing. I think it's gonna have a bigger fairing than what I made here today. Uh, this is a very, very small fairing. I think I messed that up because of the. I'll, I, I'll blame the artist rendering and not myself. Totally, totally not my fault. Okay, Falcon One. Okay, everyone is saying Starship. Yeah, let's do Starship just because that's what everyone is saying. Everyone wants Starship these days. Not gonna blame them for that. Starship collection. And let's only do the Starship upper stage. Oh, this is gonna. Oh, this is gonna crash. So gonna crash. It's not crashing. Alright, so that big block is how I cut out the, <laughs> the fairing shape. You can see there's a lot of models on top of each other here. It's because I have different versions um so use starship here we'll see here somewhere starship variants and we'll just disable cargo disable crew uh, deep space and disable tanker hmm I think we hit everything we needed to hide. So that actually goes in between here. Okay, it's a bit taller than that. Gotta do justice. And now we move. There we go, a starship. It's a bit white for some reason and not metal, but we'll have to deal with that. <laughs> Scott Manny said the Newton can actually re replace in towers. I guess that makes sense with how similar they are in size. And since Neutron is wider, it probably has a little bit more fuel. So that's why it can also land. And it's probably also a little bit... I don't know if... It, it, I actually don't know if it's more efficient, but we'll see. We have to learn more about it. Yeah. Okay, I know you guys want to... Compared to all kinds of different rockets, Vulcan, DSLV, Astra, but uh, yeah, you'll have to yeah you'll have to do that in Rocket Explorer when when it comes out on Steam soon. You can also support me on Patreon to get that early access. But that's mostly at this point if you want to support me and because Rocket Explorer is going to be on Steam soon, so early access will only be for a month or two more. Um, but yeah, Neutron is, is gonna be in this uh, next update, I think. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna have to get rid of all these models now. And uh, this is real life, Mr. Preston. This is very real life. <laughs> Aka's uh, Scam Rocket. I really want to model that, actually. Just so I can do memes with it. <laughs> and because it has a it has a, a sort of aero spike, and I want to model an aero spike. But maybe I should actually model a real aerospike and not a, a steam, hot water aerospike. 
Uh, launching from the same. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, so neutron here will be launching from the same same location as as uh, Antares. Basically, the same launch site right next to it. Probably, since that's where Electron is launching right now. Yeah, sweet. Deletus, deletus, delete hierarchy, delete hierarchy, delete, delete. I think we're left with this now and a bunch of textures, obviously, that we imported. Uh, I'll have to clean that out, but yeah. All right. Rocket Labs new rocket, Electron. We did it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe if you like to see more uh, animations and future live streams and stuff. And obviously follow Rocket Explorer. And yeah, thanks for, thank you so much for, for tuning into this live stream here. I will, uh, I will catch you later. Bye.